as we continue our coverage, you know, we keep uh, meeting up with these very exciting players. And uh, with me is uh, Mark Dial. Mark Dial, of course, uh, did play for the TNT Red Steel at the CPL a couple of seasons ago. He has played for Trinidad and Tobago. He's one of the standout domestic players in the country at the moment. He has been to America on a number of occasions playing in different leagues and doing very, very well. He has also been to England, you know, um, playing his trade. He's here at the US Open. His first game, two sixes, a four, and then he got out, four balls. So that was action. But that's the man. He's an action man. Let me welcome Mark Dial to our program. Welcome, Mark. Hi, hi, Vinod. It's always nice to be here, you know, in the uh, US. This US Open tournament, it's, I must say, it's a very wonderful tournament. Uh, you know, this is my third year here. And uh, every time I come, it's getting bigger and bigger. Well, it's great that you would say that because uh, a number of players of international repute are adding to the mix every year as we move forward. And I remember, Mark, a couple of seasons ago, you did take uh, uh, this title, this US Open title. You are actually the star of the finals. Take us back to that a bit. Well, you know, uh, uh, funny that you mentioned it because I was just talking to someone downstairs about it. It was, uh, how should I say, our team was very, wasn't the favorites, to be honest, because on paper, like I said, the, the commission is getting bigger and bigger. And that year had a number of stars. And uh, our team, on paper, wasn't as star-studded as, you know, it should have been. Uh, but at the end of the day, cricket isn't played on by name. I always believe cricket is played on the day. And uh, I just, I had a good day, you can say, because the semi-final and the finals played on the same day. And uh, I remember we we were chasing 148 in the semi-final against Washington Tigers. Luckily enough, I got 69 not out and uh, took us to the final. Then uh, we played Smart Choice Canada, the team I'm currently playing for right now, uh, in the finals. And uh, I'm sure you can remember, and probably the whole of Miami can remember, uh, Rizwan Chima hitting five sixes in the first over. And that was the highlight of the final. And then, you know, our bowlers did well to bring back the game. We restric restricted them for 144 all out from 55 after three overs. And... Uh, it was a nice wicket, you know what I mean? 55 after 3 tells you a lot. And uh, I went out there and I just I was in a good flow. I was in good form from, from the day I had a nice knock. And I just picked up where I left off. I got 51 off of 19 balls and set the tone for us. Yes, that was wonderful indeed. And we all rem remember that knock. Um, balls, white balls were flying all over the park here at Central Broad. Tell us a bit now, Mark, um, uh, what's the situation with your career? What's, uh, you know, give us a feel of what's going on with you, uh, what you're looking forward to in the immediate and the distant future. Well, you know, Vinod, I'm glad that you asked because, you know, for the last couple of years, I've been going through a little period in my career where I've been thinking a lot, contemplating actually. You know, I made Trinidad the first class team, I made Red Steel team, and I even played for in the list take a 50 over competition for CCC, all at 21 years, right? when I was 21 and then I decided to you know not put cr stop cricket but put it on a little hole I started a degree at the University of Trinidad and Tobago uh, current campus and you know I would like I could, I could say to the thank God that when I returned to Trinidad on the 8th of November I'm graduating I'm graduating with a degree so you know part of part of one part of my life is there done I can say that you know I always wanted to I never want to forego my academics for cricket. I always want to try to balance both. And, uh, you know, I'm, at I'm 24 now, and I have a degree in my hand. So now I have my whole career ahead of me. I'm already into the system. You know, I've played all three formats. And uh, I really like when I go back to Trinidad from this tournament here with the title, mind you, <laughs> uh, to, you know, really start back training. Our, our club, Power Gen Sports Club, we are... We resume training on the 1st of November. So, you know, my, these two months for me is very critical because they ha we have the Super 50 coming up for Trinidad. And I would like to, I played in it the last couple of years for CCC, but I would really like to play for it for Trinidad this time around. And uh, I will use these two couple months to really push hard, train as hard as and best as I can, and try to get back myself on track, you know, because I won't say I'm lost, I have lost my way, but I've, took, I've taken a different route. And you know, as a 
you can there's many routes to one destination so you know i'm trying to get back onto the proper the right route to um to my destination my goal which is to play for Trinidad and tobago and uh you know uh recently i've returned from canada started opening the batting there opening back the batting and it's proven dividends for me Yes, wonderful indeed. Opening the batting in the mold of his father, Darren Ryan Dial, who was a standout player in Trinidad and Tobago. He holds the record for the highest score in domestic cricket, which is a triple century. And he has scored the most centuries in domestic cricket. That's Darren Ryan Dial. I want to thank you for joining us, Mark, and I want to wish you all the best. You know, it's always a pleasure, like I said before. And I want to thank you for this opportunity as well, and hope we can have a lot more interviews going forward. Sure, you heard it there from Mark Dial. Congratulations to him on his degree, on his graduation. And it's always wonderful to see cricketers marry academics and, of course, cricket in one pot. Mm -hmm.